Between crabbing, clamming, and barnacles, which is most difficult? Barnacles is the most difficult. And fishing is very dangerous, but I would rather be on a vessel in bad weather or big swell uh, rather than on a rock. So every barnacle gatherer, every harvester will meet his day on the rock. Barnacles? Barnacles. Barnacling. I mean, they taste good. It's a lot of work for the product, but they definitely are delicious. Me, personally, I don't really go out there. But Jeremiah risks his life a lot when he's doing it. He's safe about it, but at any moment, if he just were to read a wave wrong, he could get wiped out. My inspiration is to start a business that included crabbing. It was because of the barnacles, really. We started harvesting barnacles, and with the licensing that was required, it gave us the option of harvesting clams and um, getting crab as well. So that's how we started to explore the other options, and we really got into crabbing, and there's a, a high demand for it. Don't sleep on the red rocks. Uh, put the energy, you know, just gotta let it out. Red rock. The meat's pretty good. It's got a nice claws. I just feel like most people were just like, oh, I just want dungeon this, dungeon this, dungeon this. But I'm like, the red rock tastes just as good. Dude, you know how pissed I'd be if I was an animal and I just like another animal started living off of me? God damn. I just like the red rocks. My little sister loves them. It's her only, the only one she'll eat. She won't eat dungeon this. I don't know why. In Spain and Portugal, the harvest grounds around the whole continent it is named the, the graveyard because of how many men died um, harvesting the product. When I'm harvesting, I'm jeans and a t-shirt and a stick, a backpack and a pry bar, and that's it. So, at, you know, at any time, one of the larger waves could sneak up on you, and it's pretty dangerous. Regarding the goose and broncos, they told me that I had a huge hill to climb. Being the first person licensed to do so was a small hill, but then there was just, there's been a ton of other things. It is a tough business. It does pose a lot of challenges, but it's also very rewarding and being able to harvest something that grows in nature. It's 100% natural and organic to the world. And that's really important and special right now. The fishing business is very tight. There are families that go back generations on generations. They really don't like new people, so we really struggled to get our foot in the door. When I did start the company, I was robbed three times. I didn't really get any support from the police department. I didn't know anybody. I have a buyer out of Canada. I actually met him while I was working at the U plant here in Newport. His name is David Bailey, and he owns Golden Claw Lobster. I was able to show him that I was honest and trustable. He asked me if I could find the product. I went looking, and sure enough, I found it. Uh, Morgan has an untapped, untouched uh, virgin product that's better than any other product in the world. There seems to be a lot of interest in the product. People really do want the Oregon product. Barnacles has been much more challenging just because it's a unique food and not everybody wants to eat it. And uh, so I needed a more practical market, something that people were used to, something that people already like, something that I didn't have to sell. And so we got into clamming. And currently there's nobody in Yupuna Bay uh, doing it for human consumption. You're not even able to take it commercially and ODA is changing that for us. And nobody wants to get into the clams. Nobody wants to dig or get into the dirt, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure why they haven't done it yet, but they left the door open for me to walk through, so I'm going to, and I am. It's exciting. You kind of never know what's going to happen the next day or what what's going to happen or where the next little challenge is going to come or the next blessing or good thing happens. And um, that's what the best part is to me. The simple fact of the matter is that it's just interesting, it's in use. It, there's a uh, risk in everything we do. Uh, you can 
be a construction worker, you could be a, a cook. Um, it doesn't matter. It's a rush. I enjoy playing in the waves. Nobody else does it. Oh, I really feel blessed and special. I feel very, very special to have been chosen by God to do this. My family just, you know, we're not, we, we didn't have much at all. A, a tough line of screw ups, really. And I'm probably one of the biggest ones. And uh, God is gracious. Children, I'm just blessed beyond belief. I'm just very grateful and happy that he's been here to get me through all the tough times. So. He's going. He's going. Where the water is. He's getting crabs out. He's going in. He just going in. <laughs> <laughs>